Hi there, it's Valerie from Amazing Hiring here and I'm going to show you how to use the folder management system for your candidates within Amazing Hiring today. So we've created a search query and we'd like to shortlist some of the candidates. To shortlist the candidates to an existing folder, you can select the candidates and click on a folder that you've already created. If you're starting from scratch, you can create a new folder right here and the shortcut for folders is available on your right hand side. To create a folder, we can come up with a title, for example, Java Developers in Berlin. We can add any description this is something that can help you work with the folder in the future. You can share the folders with any of your colleagues who already have access to the platform. And you can even share that specific folder with any of the hiring managers who might be interested in pre-screening the candidates that you've selected. To do that, you can invite a hiring manager here straight away and they will receive the invite. While you're creating a folder, you can also check which statuses you'd like to use for this specific folder. The statuses are totally customizable. These are just the ones that I have. You can create whichever ones you want in status settings if you are an admin of your amazing hiring account or you can contact an admin of your account to make sure that all the statuses that you require are created by them. If we are happy with the folder, we just need to click Create. And we can add new candidates to that folder. As I've already added some of the candidates to a short list to one of the folders named Java London, we can check that they have been added and this data will work for you within a team as well. So you'll be able to see your colleagues folders change their statuses as well and open the folder quickly just by clicking on it. As we are in folders that's where we can manage our pipeline. As I've mentioned, the statuses that have been pre-created can help you identify the candidates within your current talent pool. For example, if you'd like to change status of a candidate, you can do it manually, one by one, or you can do that for multiple candidates in bulk. The statuses also change when you contact the candidates through our uh, mailing list feature and those candidates will be marked as contacted. Within the folders, you can also export the data into a CSV file where you can choose which fields you require and export. Or if you're a user of Greenhouse or Smart Recruiters, you can use one of our native integrations. The folders allow you to move and copy candidates to other folders as well, to make sure everything is as accurate to your pipeline as you require. For example, we want to move all candidates that are currently not interested in our roles and we select them and click move. Within the folders options we can see the ones that we can use and we click move. Within the folder after creating a short list you can create extra searches if you'd like to find a specific candidate. Once we open search in folder, we can use standard conditions for addition, 
or exclusion. And we can also use the filters. There is a great tip, for example, with filters. They can help you do some market mapping. And on the example of a company, you can see which companies can be good donor ones for you based on the candidates that you've already selected. The option of search in folders can have multiple uh, examples of how you can create further strategies and market mapping exercises. Hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at sales at amazinghiring.com.